Hello everybody, I decided to go and dip back in on that beautiful Scream Factory Love is in the Scare sale and go for round two. Uh, the item I bought wasn't on sale, <clears throat> but I just uh, bought the item to trigger that over $100 purchase to get the free uh, gift they had. So, um, if you aren't aware, I'm obviously a very huge fan of Pumpkinhead. Um, <clears throat> which here's my old copy of Pumpkinhead right here, which I'm gonna have to get rid of because now we've upgraded and I Got this big version right here from Scream Factory So I'm gonna crack it open and show you guys what's in this uh, box So let's see here. Kit number one. And kit number two. Let's go with number one first. So the free gift they gave you was Piranha. Uh, well, one of the choices. You may recall from the last video I picked up uh, the Happy Death Day bundle. Um, so here, they had the Piranha set, so I'm like, ah, all right, I'll get it. Can't be free. Ooh, almost got my hand there. <laughs> All right. Just got that fancy Roger Corman looking poster right there. Here is the Piranha release. on 4K. Let's crack that open. It's got your Blu-ray and your 4K. Um, well, there's kind of some reversible cover actually on that one. Uh, so I think I will actually reverse it because I have that cover there. It's neat. Usually on those 4Ks, they don't really give you any kind of a uh, reversible cover art. So that's neat. Here we go. And a decent amount of special features, as you can see on the back there. And <clears throat> then we have the uh, Piranha pin set, which I believe comes from Cavity Colors. So that's exciting. But the whole reason why I did this order in the first place, bunch of pumpkin head. Which I think what I'm probably gonna have to do, um, I have Child's Play framed from when I bought the very first bundle when it came out on Blu-ray. Uh, that poster I'm probably gonna take down and switch out with Pumpkinhead because it's Pumpkinhead. Plus the art looks cooler anyway. All right. <clears throat> so for this one, you had to go through the whole giant bundle they didn't have any other bundle options sometimes they'll do like the <clears throat> the 4k with like a poster um like killer clowns for instance there's a whole bunch of bundles which i think is sold out i gotta pre-order that thing i just want the regular and the uh prism sticker so that's my jam all right so here's the poster which has that beautiful artwork right there so i'm really excited to get that up and the font, which is the same as my hat right there, which they had, um, just so you know, 
uh, inked up merch. There's a little ad I run in the beginning of my videos. Um, they're the ones that put this hat out. They do really great horror hats. So if you want to put some uh, great hats on your head, that's where I would go. And here's the uh, 4K release right here in comparison to the uh, regular Blu-ray. Uh, is there much difference? Uh, this is a Night of the Demon interview, so there might be a few new interviews on this thing right here. Uh, is there different cover art? Let's find out. Or a reversible cover art. No. So if you're wondering, this one does not have any kind of reversible cover art. And the spine looks pretty much about the same. So. A little bit smaller than the Blu-ray release right there, but. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, we have the pin set from Cavity Colors. This one uh, I'm obviously gonna keep, so let's crack this one open. Just cut it with the knife. Sorry, this video is very long for just an item, two item video, but if you like me talking, then this video is for you. If you don't like me talking, then I'm sorry. Let's get this thing open. Things are not easy to open. Let's see here. Hmm. It's not taped. Foam padding. And there you have it. Uh, I love this. I almost want to get this framed right here. Great background. Uh, five really great looking pins. Just kind of a bitch to get out of the uh, box. So really happy to have this collectible enamel set that comes in this nice fancy box there. <clears throat> and then, let's see here. So next comes the lobby cards. Uh, didn't really need to get these, but it was the only bundle available. They didn't have any other smaller bundles, so I did get the lobby card set. This is almost kind of a hassle taking these out, but. So here is card number one. Uh, they're on thick quality. This is really, if you, you know, took them to a con to get autograph, these are definitely uh, very autograph worthy. Number 
two. Number three, kind of eh. pretty good one right there like if I saw this actress at a convention I would definitely want to get that autograph this is definitely better than your standard a little 8x10 and like I said it's pretty thick quality on that hmm no Lance Henriksen but I'll take that that's a good lobby card right there as well now you're probably all thinking uh, why the heck did you order all that if you already had the movie? Well, for this, my friends, this little piece right here is the reason why I did this whole order. And also to get the, you know, the freebie. But I think I need about maybe four or five more prism stickers. Then I have a full uh, frame that I can actually hang in the stuff. So I'm really excited about this. If I can get it open. All of that just for this, this beautiful pumpkin head prism sticker. That is amazing. Probably cost nothing to make, but you know what? This was a selling point for this whole set to me. I've watched the movie like a million times, but that was the clincher right there. I'm like, I gotta get that. I was holding out and hoping that it would go on sale for the love is in the scarce, but it didn't. So I'm just like, all right, fine. I'm just gonna buy it and be done with it. So now I have it, now I'm happy, and now I have to uh, go pre-order that Killer Clowns uh, set before it sells out. It seems like a few of the bundles have actually sold out, so it's kind of a bummer, but that's the collecting life. Gotta jump on things before they run out. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. It's pretty long, I'm sorry, but you know, I love Pumpkinhead and I had to go off on it, so. Anyway, ciao.